In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an invoice payment to Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. Okay, so you've sent out an invoice and now you've received your payment and you wanna get that payment on the books the right way. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. There's actually a lot of different ways to do this. I'm gonna cover two main ways and I'll highlight a couple of the others. One way to do this is to start by opening the invoice. So if I go over to sales and I click on invoices, then you open the invoice that you wanna record the payment for. Up here at the top, you should see an option to record a payment. You can also see the option here to record a payment. And under the payments received um, section over here, there's a plus sign, you could use that as well. So I'm just gonna use the button here to record a payment, click that. You're gonna make sure that things are correct. So make sure it's the right customer and everything. And then you're gonna put in the amount you received. It does not have to equal the entire invoice. So if you're taking a deposit, just put the um, amount that you have received there. And then you're going to wanna to put in the date that you've received that payment. On this page, you can also add bank charges if there are any. So if you're using a payment processor like Stripe and you want to make sure the bank charges are applied um, and associated with this, you would add that here. You can change your payment method. So did you get paid cash? Was it a bank transfer, a credit card, whatever it is there. And then you'll want to select the correct deposit to account. So where did the money get deposited to? So typically this will be into a checking account. Um, if you're used to using QuickBooks, this might have been to the undeposited funds account. Undeposited funds doesn't quite work the same way here in Zoho. If you do put it in the undeposited funds account, you'll have to make a transfer later. Um, but I encourage you to put it in the checking account that you are going to receive the money into. If needed, you can add a reference number here or add some notes here. You can even add an attachment if you want to. And then you'll have some options down here at the bottom to send a thank you note for the payment. And you're just gonna click record payment. So now on your invoice here, you can see that a payment has been made down here at the bottom. And you can also see up here that a payment was received, the date and everything. So if you click this number, you can get back to the payment here. If you um, go under payments received, it will also show up here as well. But from here, what I wanna show you is what you do in the bank feed because you're going to receive this $100. So if you're on your banking tab and you're looking at your transactions, you can see I got a deposit of $100. And if you click on that, you will see a match. So you will want to match this. What you don't wanna do is go ahead and categorize the deposit as a sale, like a sale without invoices. Um, and then add the payment as well because that will double up the payment to your books. So you'll want to apply it somehow by either a match or I'll show you the other way. You can do it without putting the payment in the system. So you'll match it there. But if you don't want to log the actual payment to the account, there is an option for that too. So let's say I received another payment for a different invoice. You'll notice that under the matches, an invoice will pop up. So you don't actually have to open up the invoice and add a payment. You could just match it to the invoice. So if I just go ahead and click match here, um, I will show you, I'm gonna to go to sales and open up that invoice and you will see now it still has that payment received. That's the one I just did from the, the bank feed. And if I go over to payments received, you'll see it there as well. So this is how you will record your invoice payments to your books. If you're looking for more tips on how to get more cash and profit in your business, I'd love for you to sign up for our newsletter, which I will link in the description box below. I'll see you next time.